think God has a funny way of putting people in your life that show you what you really need in a person. I'm I just crazy about you from the ever beginning, since so. I can remember, it's just always felt like, oh yeah, this is it. This is yeah. almost like we just knew. And he offered me a ride from our scholars class to go to the cookout. I saw her and I said, that's the girl I want to take this cookout. <laughs> <laughs> The entire ride there just laughed. We just, it was like I had known Chad for years. And I actually called my mom um, later that night and said, you know, this is the guy I would marry. And I said, you really like this Chad guy, Caitlin. Your face lights up when you talk about him. And she said, I would marry him, but he's already taken, he has a girlfriend. And he waited till we got all the way to the barbecue and he said, so, are you single? And I was like, well, yes, I am, thinking, all right, now he's going to ask you out. And he said, oh, I'm not. <laughs> so even though the timing never was quite, quite right in college, um, I went to Italy, actually, my last year of college on a travel study and we visited the Trevi Fountain. So I made the list and threw my coins in. Actually, a year to the day, we later found out that I did that, that he messaged me, and that's when we reconnected. So it was kind of cool. Maybe there was some truth to it. So we both learned a lot of lessons. Yes. How to treat the right person. Absolutely. So I think we were ready at that point. Whereas, had we still been telling chemistry jokes our freshman year of college, we might not have ended up at the altar, so. Yeah, it worked out perfectly. If you were an element, you'd be carbon, so I could date you. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible jokes. I've known both Chad and Caitlin since uh, freshman year. You know, after we uh, both grad uh, all three of us graduated high school, they're exactly the same as they were then, just a few more letters, but before and after their names now. So we just actually became great friends uh, during college. What's funny about that car ride to the barbecue is based on the conversations I remember we had, that car ride was an hour long. And then a while later I realized it was seven minutes down the road at <laughs> Westview High School. So I couldn't believe that. Caitlin, I, I can't imagine a better woman for he is amazing, and I think he's met his match, that you're equally as amazing. So, it's been my greatest privilege to share my last name with Caitlin for the past 21 and a half years. And I'm so happy to know, though, that she's marrying a man who's going to be just as proud to share his last name with her as I have been. You know, a lot of people believe they find their other half. I don't believe you guys found other, you know, you were a, you're a perfect pair. I love Chad, I love his family, love his friends. Thank you all for being a part of this. We're so happy to be here. I love Caitlin, and I'm so glad that you're part of our family. You in the sunshine. I only want to get the best that I have to give. And Caitlin, I give you my best. I've been waiting. You know, we love you guys so much. We're excited about the turners you guys have accepted Chad into to the family and we're so appreciative of that and and uh, we we wish you guys the best. And I think you should know. I want to make you mine. I stars don't shine Take Caitlin as your wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish, even as your own flesh, to protect, care for, and provide for her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Caitlin, do you take Chad as your husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer? 
in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> I, 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 wanna make uh, I took you money. aside and I said, Chad, you marry this girl. I, I just remember the chemistry being just through the roof. Just shine. really great to see you guys enjoying each other. And I just remember the way she would look at you. And I'll never forget that. We've got all our lives. Thank you guys all again. Uh, it's, it's been awesome. Thanks everyone for coming. <laughs> Love y'all both. Excited for many more memories to come. I'm so excited to see you guys start your life as husband and wife tomorrow. So cheers to the Holmeses. So proud of y'all. And I will never forget when she came back from that summer between first and second year. It was such a change. And she was so happy and she had so much light in her eyes when she used to talk about Chad that we just, we just loved it. And we knew we were going to love you before we even met you. You can't help but want to be around Chad. His huge heart, he's confident, witty, principled, and would do anything for his friends. Since we've met there, her family, I think it's more the Holmes and the Turners and the Sanfords and the Baskins becoming united together. And all I have to say is, I do. Hope you enjoy her as long as I've enjoyed her and on into the future beyond that because she's a very sweet and wonderful person. And I'm glad to be part of let that you be part of my family now. Susan, uh, you truly raised a great man and really the best friend I could ever ask for. So, cheers. We love you both. We're so excited for y'all. I just want to say congratulations. I just, I wish you guys all the best. Congratulations. Love you, buddy. Congratulations. And thank you for everything this weekend and I wish you guys the best. So, cheers. Therefore, as an ordained minister of the gospel in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. May your sunshine be shared, may your rains be gentle, and may your love be eternal. Chad, you may kiss your bride. As you receive your bouquet, turn and face your family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, my great privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Chad Holmes. that no matter how crazy work gets or the numerous things that can pile up, all I do is remember, I'm with Caitlin, and I just, like, I just melt, just like, oh my gosh, that's the best thing in the world. <laughs> it's, it's a feeling I've never had before, and just, it has not dwindled at all. You can always just be like, I'm with Caitlin, like, beautiful girl I met in college. And uh, it's the feelings I get from being with her, what I love the most. I can't top that. <laughs> I should have gone first. Please say everything is okay. Tell me we can go play like we did when we were younger. Oh, oh, sing and shout, lying on the ground, staring up the world's beat. This happened at our shower. We had to give reasons why we loved each other, and his were so much more eloquently stated. And I was like, I promise I love him. <laughs> he is my best friend, someone every single day who does nothing but put your interests before their own. Chad is just, you know, just the partner in life that I, I always hoped I could have. And I'm just excited to see where it goes. <laughs> <laughs>